kind. So Danny, tell us a little bit about the MPL this year. What's going on? What's the scoop? How's everyone doing? Um, well, it's been a, like most things in life, a different year to, to normal. Um, so normally the way the league operates is that everybody plays in a round robin format. Whereas this year, um, it's a condensed season because basically we were running out of time and, and to, to get the league up and running. So they split it into uh, more or less a north and south division. And then so in those two groups, everyone has a round robin. And then wherever you place, you play your equivalent in the other league. And that will decide, you know, whether you're in the gold medal match, the bronze medal match or whatever place it is you're playing off for. And then with these two guys today, this is a, a kind of top of the table clash. So Stars at the moment have played two games and won them both. Um, also play two games, won one, drawn one. So to keep their gold medal match hopes alive, the girls need to win. Okay, so no it's pressure. a must-win game. That's huge. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, if they want to, if they want to win the thing overall, and that is the ambition, then yeah, they need to win this game. Amazing. And so with the table, how it looks at the moment, uh, Manchester Thunder, unsurprisingly, are on top, and followed by Loughborough Lightning. But it is pretty close on the northern uh, on the northern group there. Yeah, um, it is. They've also had um, they've also had one of their games postponed and stuff. So it's hard to really. I, I imagine it. Like we'll see, but we'll see how it, it will play out in the end. I imagine it probably will be Thunder in the final, but it's still that league is still uh, well, that group is still very much open, and they've got a few more games in hand. So. Everything to play for. Absolutely. Amazing. So, Lucy, do you, do you want to take us through the starting sevens? Absolutely. So, starting seven for London Coles. In goal shooter, we've got Antonia Mitchell, who is our co-captain. In goal attack, it's Freya Henshaw, who is also part of the Roses Academy, under 17, under 19. A little bit of info there. Wing attack, we've got Courtney Ferns. Uh, in centre, we've got Evelyn McCaggerty. Wing defence is Cassie Howard. Goal defence, Harriet Corbett. And goalkeeper is Jada Petrova. And for stars, in goal shooter, we've got Liv Selby. In goal attack, it's Katie Paulin, who is our captain. In wing attack, it's Nadine Baird. In centre, it's Hallie Robinson. Wing defence, Harriet Sanderson. Goal defence, Vic Robley. And goalkeeper is Hannah Howell. Super excited for this one. Everything is on the line for London Pulse in particular. It's going to be a great one. How are you feeling, Luz? Yeah, super excited. Can't wait to see some live netball. It's going to be <laughs> such a treat. And some of these youngsters, you know, they're really, they're 16, 17, 18. It's fantastic to seeing them out there, being able to have this opportunity and this experience to play MPL this year. It's amazing. Yeah, having the opportunity to watch MPL as well as super fans of the game is just so exciting. It's something that I think has been missing recently, in recent years. Um, I think the hunger is there to watch it. So a massive thank you to London Pulse for giving the opportunity for, for us as super fans, but also the rest of the world to be able to watch this. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you guys very much for being here and doing it. Oh, our pleasure. Yeah. Just on that point as well, it has, it has been, it's been a year. And, and for these guys, you know, to be able to come back and play performance level netball, like has been... It's been just an absolute treat. Like it's been such a tough year, and you know they were allowed to train because they were part of the elite environment, and then they weren't allowed to train, and we went back into lockdown. And I think even in terms of like the result will be what the result is, but I think in terms of people's like well-being and their mental health, it's so important to you know to kind of allow all people to participate in sport and train and have these opportunities. It's it's just like magical sport, really, isn't it? It's not just about what happens on the court is yeah absolutely and so looking at some of those results we've had so stars have beaten storm 50 to 35 that's a pretty good win and they had a close one against mavericks 39 mm -hmm. to 43 mm -hmm. that was a good one and pulse as you said they've won one win and one draw so that means that they're yet to lose a game in my opinion it's true we haven't lost a game um and interestingly like the game that we won um, was against Mavs and we mm. beat them by a bigger margin. Ten goals, I think. Yeah, it was. Um, good knowledge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, on paper, I'm going to back the Pulse team, obviously. I mean, I would anyway. <laughs> um, but this should be a really good game. I imagine it's going to be a really competitive goal-to-goal. -goal. 
goal to goal game. Amazing. So it looks like the teams are huddling up here. That's why all the music's gone and you can hear a bit of clapping. So we're going to be getting ready to start now. Here we go. Very exciting. If you are watching along at home, make sure to tag us on social media at Quarter Time Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Let us know if you're watching, where you're watching from, and uh, make sure to keep an eye on our Insta stories. We'll be updating throughout the day. So here we go. First centre pass is underway. Defensive pressure pretty high already. Oh, oh, and spilled over the back line for London Poles. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, but, oh, defensive attacker. You love to see it. Yes. Oh, great tip on the edge of the circle there. You said this mid-court is experienced together. They've played quite a bit together before, Danny. Yeah, they have. They were all together. They were all together last year. Is that, not the that was and fantastic. Not... Core strength <laughs> there by that. Um, I'm going to try and stay focused on the commentator and not just watch the game. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the, the mid-court are experienced. They they played together um, all last season. Um, the centre and wing attack, Evan Courtney, do link up particularly well. And Cassie was phenomenal last week against Bath. She came out with some absolute critical turnover. So it is exciting to see what they can do in the middle. Ooh, another ball over the baseline there. Both teams just settling into the game. Pulse with the sideline. Oh, well picked up there. Hallie Robinson. tell you how great it is to watch live netball in person I'm just really like a kid in a sweet shop at the moment it's incredible two quick balls for stars to start the quarter and Pulse get their first one on the board oh lovely spin there that was a beautiful little turn So, Danny, we've mentioned about the midcourt for Pulse already. What can you tell us about the shooters? Oh, what a great little tip there from Gold Defensive so Stars. Is, so, this is actually uh, Freya's first year in NPL. So, last year she got brought into the squad, well, into the. It was 15 that you can have named. She got brought into the squad really late, and that was partly due to um, uh, an injury. But she never actually got to, to play. She got to train with the girls, but she never she never got to play. So this is her first season playing NPL. And she's gone from not being in the squad to actually be a consistent star. So And she's a tall one as well. She's yeah, really she's tall. six foot one. Six foot one, blind. Yeah, she's quite two foot all the time. It's a great, a great prospect for England to have such tall, tall goal attacks in the making, working their way through the Roses Academy, the Roses program. Mm. Um, yeah, she'll be, she'll be good for her. She's eligible for next World Youth Cup as well. Oh, fantastic! Error count is killing us. <laughs> I can tell you that now. Yeah, there's another turnover over stars there. Let's see if they can capitalise. Sweet little shot there for stars. Okay, pulse center pass. Mid range shot for Freya, and no problem whatsoever. Sinks that one. I think folks really need to capitalise on the turnover that they're winning. Mm. At the moment, they've, they've won a couple of balls, but it's just... Yes. Oh, <laughs> a little footwork cool there. Not showing any bias, are we, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, it is just a bit. This is where we're struggling. Is it the is where we've been struggling to connect it through the court. Mm. So hopefully they can take this one to goal. 
the speed of this game though it's so impressive i feel like i'm at a vnsl game it's it's that kind of level of quality it's incredible You can just hear feedback from um, some of the coaches on the on the slide there. So Fran, give you an Antonia a shoot a couple of pointers, and that is actually she should turn to the post mm -hmm. and look at that first before offloading any ball. Yeah. Oh, unlucky there for Jada Petrova. Little contact call, cheeky little contact. No problem for Katie Pauling. Sinks it. Okay, so it's currently 6-2 to stars. Technical officials getting involved with a little ball over the table there. Although it's as as well, it's like when they get the ball in, it's only taken two shots. So, you know, if they want to score more, they're oh, going to need to put some more goals. Nice little ball into the pocket there. Well held by Freya. Nice little dodge to find some space. Okay, mid to long range shot. No, nope, she's passing off. Great choice. And sunk no problem by Antonia Mitchell. Great job. Yes. Oh, unlucky there. Yeah, incorrect play of the ball there. So nice turnover and pulse. Let's see if they can capitalise on this one. This has been when they're struggling to get through. So everything, all the movement at the moment is away from ball. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Nice drive towards the ball there. Oh, unlucky for Corny. She's not got the height advantage there against uh, Harriet Sanderson. She's a little bit shorter. Oh no. Yeah, Pulse really struggling to bring this through court at the moment. Beautiful feed there. Uh, Antonio gets another one on the ball. Okay, so Pulse is starting to pull back that deficit now. We're on 6-4. And this is where it's critical in a game. When you score off of your turnover, if it's your centre pass the next, mm -hmm. it's really important to then score that goal as well. Yeah. And that's just by those marginal increments is how you, you either like extend your lead or you claw back the, uh, the position you're in at the moment. Yeah. Gap now back to one with Pulse trailing 5 4 to stars. I'm really impressed by this defensive pressure from Pulse, Danny. Can you tell us a bit about this structure? Uh, sorry, I missed that. I'm really impressed by this defensive unit from Pulse. Can you tell us a bit about this structure? Yep, so um, as I said, the midcourt are fairly strong and they're putting a lot of pressure on outside the circle. So as you see, like Cassie, Cassie is constantly hustling the whole time. And that is putting pressure on the feeders that they're having to then force it into the circle and or try and force Pulse it into the circle. Here. That's fantastic. Oh. And this is the bit that's killing us. We win the ball, <laughs> we take it to about middle of the court and there's nothing coming through. It's just, what you need is someone always moving into a forward option. Mm. But the pole, but London Pulse were winning enough ball to win the game, but we're not then capitalizing on it. Mm. Turnover conversion rate, so important. Stars should sink this one. And they do. Great pick. 
notifications from Pulse there to reset the ball. Lovely feed. Great goal there by co-captain Antonio Mitchell. So Cassie will just need to adjust her game there. It's a couple of times she's been blown to be out of the game. Mm. And as you see, it just allows the wing attack to get that really nice easy ball. Circle edge feed, easy into the circle. <laughs> Fortunately, our ball there. Oh, wow, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's see if okay. we can get this one out. And this is where we struggle. Yeah, there's only really one option at yeah. the moment. I'm not really able to recover and offer for a second time. There we go. Great work by Courtney. Oh. See if we can put this pressure on to win the ball back again. Good arms over pressure by wing defence there. Stars at the moment yes, finding it a little like bit it. easier through court. Oh, great elevation there by Pachova. Another opportunity okay. for London Bowl. Here we go again. <laughs> and now they need someone. Yeah, there's no one coming forward at all. And now they need someone. Here's the problem. But also you'd need like your defenders to help drive that ball up a little bit. So it's not just yeah. all on the attackers. Yeah. Nice swing of the ball there. Great split by Freya Henshaw. Oh, unlucky but good rebound there by Antonio Mitchell who sinks it. Great job. Oh. Okay, so we are drawn. It is seven apiece. So again, as we said, these are the critical times that they need to score this goal. Absolutely. Lovely feed right on the goal line. Okay, Pulse take the lead. Here we go. Game on. Come on, girls. Am I allowed to cheer? I don't think I can be completely neutral. <laughs> It's fine, we'll forgive you. You can show okay. a bit of bias. Oh, that counts. a goal that on the button and that counts. counts. <laughs> so we are eight apiece at the end of the first quarter. What a game we've got, Luz. Absolutely fantastic. I thought Stars were going to take it away there, but Pulse really clawed their way back in. This is going to be a real nail biter. Yeah, and I suppose like coming into this game, that's what we would have expected. Mm -hmm. You know, as we said, both teams uh, sitting at top of well, you know, first and second in the table, you would expect this to be a really good game and that's kind of what's delivering. If you look at the score as well, you know, eight to limit the other team to eight goals in 12 minutes is fairly decent. So defensively, I think both teams are doing well. Um, I think for both teams, they need to just fire up on their attacking bit, particularly for London Pulse. When we're making the turnover, which we are, it's then looking at how do we then get that through the court to, um, to turn it into a goal. So would you suggest any changes at this time or give them a bit more time to settle? No, I'd probably, um, I think I'd coach them through it. I think okay. there's a few things that I would say to the attackers that I would definitely want my shooters to turn to post a little bit more frequently. Um, yeah. Probably demand the ball a little bit earlier. I would want the defenders to work the ball further up. So at the moment where the gap is, is coming, we're kind of having the pass with, like say to the wing defence or goal defence or whatever. And then we're expecting the attackers to come into that. Mm. But actually, if we drag those attackers down, it limits what they can do up here because, you know, in most invasion games, you want the more attackers ahead of the ball than behind it. Yeah. So yeah. we actually want to keep our attackers a little bit higher and enable us to do that. We need the wing defence and goal defence to really be driving that ball up towards this transverse line. Mm. Whereas at the moment, they're coming into this third, having like one pass and then being like, my work here is done. Yeah. <laughs> I made that. And whereas what we would encourage them to do is actually, you know what, you've won that ball, own it, like own mm. that turnover. It's your responsibility to now get that ball in, you know, help it towards the, the goal circle and make sure that we can turn your interception into a goal. Yeah. Um, so I'd be saying, yeah, saying that to the defence and saying to the shooters, like actually when, when they're putting the ball up, the stats are good. I think mm. I've only seen maybe one missed shot, I think. 
yeah. May, maybe one or two maybe, maybe one or one two shot. but um yeah so i would be like actually let's let's get let's service them with a little bit more ball yeah so they can and they freya can and them. antonia are they traditionally mid to long range shooters or are they close range shooters what's their preference uh both. Uh, I actually think they're both Great. very good. Shooters. That's Sorry. what you want. That's it what, is you, want. what you, you you know, and I think that's <laughs> the dream. That's the thing for both of them is that actually they're they're very accurate suit shooters. So you'd be like, just turn to the post and put it in. Like, mm. you know, they're they're both very tall. They're actually like quite mobile for people that are so tall. Um, what they've been doing in a, in a couple of the previous. So Antonia's been playing as I said to you earlier. Um, because of the year that it is, they can only get named in one uh, one game, one team sheet for the day. Yeah. So both of those guys are actually also in the under twenty one squad, but today they're listed in the nineteens, and yeah. they've actually only had one game together, and that was the, the Mavs game. But because you know Freya's a very tall goal attack, actually Antonia can sometimes exit the circle, and that leaves it for Freya to to move in, and you you kind of you've still got a six foot one and a six foot one going to post to shoot yeah yeah um but no they're they're both very good from from mid-range and and mm. um short range to be honest with you so it looks like going into the second quarter which will be starting shortly there are no changes for london pulse or seven stars so i think you're absolutely right they're being coached through it um so we'll see here we go second quarter is about to get underway I'm excited to see how these shooting partnerships continue in this game. I wonder what sort of words of advice they will have had from their coaches. And I guess we'll have to wait and see whether this will have any impact. But it's like you said, Danny, it's that transition play, being there, backing each other up, supporting each other onto the ball as well, and being there for the reset when needed. And you'd hope that, you know, actually post finished that, you know, that last five minutes stronger than stars. You know, actually mm. we were down and then we've now we went into the lead towards the end and obviously now draw in so you hope they take that momentum with them into this quarter absolutely crucial to have that momentum pulse with the center pass here we go so these are 12 minute quarters as well aren't they danny so they're playing the same as the as the super league girls and a bit later on today you might see some familiar place familiar faces in the pulse under 21's lineup so exciting we can't wait to see some of those girls in the flesh. Very exciting. Pulse working it in now. And actually, that was much better um, through court support from Cassie. You know, she was getting almost every other ball there, which has helped make a difference. Lovely goal to start the quarter there. Great little three ball uh, set up there from Stars. Pally Robinson able to end up on the top of the circle edge, so absolute perfection. And you just, come on, and again from the defense. Great feed into Freya there. And she finishes it. Good luck. It's oh, kind of that like fierceness that you want you want to see. Absolutely, there's so much hustle going on. Oh, great challenge there from Holly Robinson. And Freya with the mid-range shot. Oh, unlucky. Over the back line. Okay, stars throwing. Let's see what they can do with this. Let's go, Post! Come on! Oh, that was a good pressure there. Oh, well done, Petrova. Tell you what, the hustle is real. There is so much defensive pressure going on here. Yes, oh, come on. 
Oh, struggling to find the net here. There we go. As she sinks it. Third time, Becky. Great little tip there by Hannah Howe. Just struggling for options there. No one really moving. That was actually a really nice feed from there. From Courtney there. I mean, it was on the edge of us. <laughs> Better defensive pressure on this end yeah, part, definitely. Oh, fingertip away. We really just wanted her to shoot that look because now, unfortunately, Stars have lost the ball. And I think that was well within her range. Now Pulse just need to capitalise on this opportunity. Oh, What's the score? We still score a ten apiece. Ten all. Please pull it a shot there. So this is where it's really important. So we've just scored off of their turnover and we really need to, you know, to start getting ahead in the game. This centre pass matters. Well, that was a great challenge. And Antonia sinks it, no problem. And when it's a game like this, the guys, just, you just need to be comfortable going goal for goal. You need to be comfortable in the pressure situation because I imagine we'll be like this for the whole time. So I don't think that any team will ever get like a, you know, you know, a big comfortable lead where you can kind of relax into it. Yeah. So it's about being able to make those decisions still under the pressure the whole way through. Yeah. Critical decision making. Great drive by Courtney there. Oh, and just sprayed over the sideline. Okay, so opportunity for Stars to this is their claw one so back. Re reclaim their centre. Yeah, reclaim their centre, great. Harriet just coming off it. She's sitting too deep to then challenge on that, really. Great depth into the pocket there. Oh, well held in. Oh, flirting with the three-second rule there. And great shots by Liv. Oh, unlucky for Pulse there. This is actually... Cover the goal attack, Cass! Yes! Oh, beautiful interception there by Jada. Very well read. This is where you need seven in attack, seven in defence. Yeah, we just seem to be getting stuck behind stars a little bit. No one's sort of, but there we go. Great drive there by Evelyn. Showing great patience, the attack, yes. Yeah. And then you wanted to shoot. You can actually <laughs> do that really shoot. well. In the words of Tracy Neville, well, if you, you want know. to be a shooter, shoot. Lovely. It's absolutely Freya. sage advice, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think she knows a thing or two, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah Trace. <laughs> yes, that's good. Oh. Oh, brilliant turnover there. The pulse. Cassie Howard doing a great job. Uh, funny enough, and Cassie then, also played. Someone to the ball. To the ball. Yeah, struggling for options here. Nice long cross court ball. Nice, beautiful play. Okay, turn and shoot. Great lean there by Hannah Howe. So this is what I mean. The girl can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it the first time. Put them up. <laughs> Put it up. 
Nice little dodge there by Freya. Lovely feed. Okay, so we're 16 11 to Pulse. Pulse is starting to pull away now. Let's see if Stars have they a response. They need to maintain this. Oh, cheeky three seconds there. Seemed a little bit quick to me. Okay, Stars are preparing to make some changes. Looks like that wing defense position is going to shift soon. Oh, nice little intercept by Halley there. Again, you want them to turn and shoot. She had a mid-range position there. Oh, oh, the layup, not the finish, pass off, beautifully done. Giving me Gretel Boeta vibes there, I love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that change in wing defense has been made. Contemplating a positional switch there as well between goal attack and goal shooter. But it looks like we're staying as we are for now. Just that wing defense that has changed. Beautiful feed into Antonia there, but not the finish. There we go. Job done. I have to say, I've been really impressed with Antonia and Freya this year and how they've um, linked up with each other. This is a totally, a totally new partnership for them. Mm. Um, never played together before this season. Um, the confidence they have with each other has been, has been wicked. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice rebound there. Actually, there's a few rebounds that have just gone amiss for us. And, and you know, <laughs> some of those balls I would have really liked us to take first time. Oh, thread in the needle. Great shot there. It's been looks like really nice feeding from the guys today. Yeah, I definitely get the sense of Pulse are getting much more comfortable now. And again, you just want them to keep that momentum. Yeah, so I think absolutely. we have been much better actually. <laughs> well, I say we've been much better, and now we're not going to do it. <laughs> but we've been much better at taking those turnovers through court. <laughs> so we say seven people in attack. Okay. Nice top of the circle position in there by Courtney Ferns. And the finish. Beautifully done. Keep pushing on, guys. Okay, Pulse starting to pull away now, 19 to 13. Oh. Absolute. Love, love that. If that is just sighting the defenders' heads down, happy to give that confidence to give that ball. Bam. So the gap's now up to seven. Pulse leading 20 to 13. This is a really crucial goal for Stars. They need to sink this one, otherwise they risk things getting a little bit out of control. Lovely move. I actually think we can win more ball in the circle as well, to be honest. I think sometimes we're getting stuck behind their backs and I want to see a little bit more probably partnership work. Ooh. From, Ooh. <laughs> that was a close one. From uh, Jada and Harriet. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, oh, no. no yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Courtney had picked up the, the spillage anyway, so... I've been really impressed with Freya. I mean, actually, she's still under 17 as well, so she would have another two years or another two seasons in this age group. Mm. And you would never know that looking at her play today. Yeah, absolutely. So that wing defence change for start is Emily Brooks, who's come on there. And a great shot there for Stars by Liv. Oh, a little bit of an air ball there. Oh, and Stars get the throw in. And that is the end of the second quarter. It is 21 to 15 in favour of Pulse. Come on, Pulse. 
So yeah, definitely settled quite quickly. I've now managed to pull a nice little lead in there. Yeah. See if that momentum can take them through to the second half and okay. really start to push away here. Because like we said, this is a must win for them. For, so, for both teams as well. To well, yeah. Fair. You know, if, if Stars, and they have been playing well so far in their mm. previous two games and I'm sure they have ambitions to to go and be in that gold gold medal match as well. Absolutely. And this is where it will come down to, to goal difference. You know, if unfortunately we drew, well, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys, it was also streamed last week and um, mm. we were actually down the, the majority of the, in fact, I think all of the game <laughs> last week against Bath. And it was only within the last few minutes that we, we, we managed to mm. pull out a draw. So it was, I don't think we should have been in that position, but we were. <laughs> It's all about how you respond. Love yeah, it. for sure. It'd be interesting to see if either, either team make any changes. I think the stars probably well. It looked like they were doing that on the side, and that the coach wanted to do that when she made that yeah. the other switch. So we we'll see. Yeah. Pulse have on their bench. I'd be interested. I'd, I'd quite like to see Kalechi end the game, if I'm honest. But we'll see. She she was absolutely killer last week for them against Bath, and she's been. Um, She's been amazing throughout the season, so I think she could come on and have an impact. Um, she's not as experienced as some of those other players out there on court. Mm. And what position would you like to see Kalech come on to? Goal defence. Mm. Maybe goal defence. Yeah, she's, a, she's a circle player. Maybe goalkeeper. Well, we shall see. We're going to take a very short break uh, during this half-time, and we will come back to you for second half action. Stay tuned.
Hello, everyone. We are back, ready for the second half. Team's just huddling up now. Score is 21-15 to London Pulse. So a handy little lead here. Let's see what the Stars can come up with. They've made a change, actually, in the shooting end, switching their goal shooter and goal attack. We've now got Liv Selby in goal shooter and Kate Pauling, the captain, in goal attack. Stars are the first centre pass. Here we go. Oh, all over the baseline there. Let's see what Pulse can do with it. Oh, lucky that was great hands there. Oh. Oh. Let's go, boys! Come on! Yes! Oh, lovely amazing front position. And again, guys, let's keep going. We get the feeling Pulse have really up the intensity in this quarter. They want to put this game away now. Stars work it in. Oh, oh lovely tip on the shot. One back I'd like stars. to see a little bit more partnership between Harriet and Jada in there. Mm. So, you know, there's a few times when one of them's got a hand to ball and if you just want the other one to then help them out or pick up, like, so if they're not going to take it cleanly. So that back up and support, how do you think they would work on that during the game? More talk and communication? Absolutely, absolutely more talk and actually keep keeping the game alive. So the ball's never out until it's out, do you know what I mean? Or it's through the net. And at the moment, it's kind of like there's an expectation like, oh, someone else will get that, or it's gone off court, or... Oh, beautiful read there by Jada. Better from Jada. She'll often get better as the game goes on. She'll mm. often, like, grow into a game. And the same as Freya, she's also under 17, so it's got another couple of seasons. Oh, lucky there. Another couple of seasons, so true. You see that sometimes, don't you, with players like Raz Quashi. She'll really grow into the game and start having an impact in the third and fourth quarter when the game starts to slow down and she'll really and take those opportunities. And it's also they start to figure out their opponents a little bit more, you know, okay, so what is this one, what, how are these guys liking to play? Oh, yeah. great rebound. Another one from Jada. Now Pulse needs to settle. Oh, oh shame. Oh, no. from him. Good recovery there. Oh. So that's now, I think, the fourth error we've had after yeah. the turnover. It's just not good enough. This has been a long passage of play now without a goal. Oh, no, they've won it back. I do believe this is about our fifth turnover, so let's see yeah. if we can actually do something with this. It's a bit of ping pong going on at the moment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's five turnovers and we've not been able to capitalise on any of them. The stars of possession. Oh no, and a held ball. Here we go, another time. <laughs> Does anyone want to buy a goal at this stage? Looks like stars have made a change at centre as well. We've got Emily Brooks then centre and Hallie Robinson's moved out to wing attack. Beautiful shot there. This one, this one. Nice vision from Cassie there as well. Settler there for stars. Oh, 
so much noise from stars at the moment. They're really piling on the pressure. Oh, well held there. Lovely finish. Another opportunity for Pulse here. What can they do? That makes such a difference when the defenders can bring the ball down the court like that. Good pick up from him. Shot. I'm starting to take this lead away now. Score is 26 17. Let's get it back, guys. Come on, this is your center. Oh, Again, come on. There for uh, Harriet Sanders with a nice little ball to the face. <laughs> Right, so you want to, you want pulse, or we will, I will pulse. Keep the pressure on these guys. You know, you don't want anyone to be able to settle in and find the confidence, find their rhythm. Oh, great pressure on the shot there. Oh, and they come away with the ball. Oh, to it. Oh, no one really coming forward at the moment. That was a bit of a risky cross course cross-court pass there. Be useful on the goal line. And she sinks it. Amazing job. Pulse now up by 10 goals in this third quarter. Great drive to the top of the circle there. Oh, oh. well done. This Pulse defense have really come alive in this third quarter. Yeah. Great move. Just need the attack now to finish off. Go on. Oh, oh, get it no. back! Let's go! Come on, Freya! See the transition. Oh! Looks like a change is happening here. Yeah, I actually think Jada had sort of got the like playing against the the taller Selby. Mm. Um, I think was is actually su suited more to Jada. So we'll be interested to see what happens now they've made this change. Yeah, Jada was having a bit of a field day in that quarter there, but the change was definitely necessary. Ben's just getting caught on the back there. You actually want them to. Ooh, very close to three seconds on that one. Oh, it seems to be a bit of confusion about whose back line it was. Stars with possession. I mean, they're your coach killers, aren't they? Yeah. No one to order. Good, yeah. Come on. So you need your defenders to keep driving that ball up. Let's go, Harriet! Drive it out! It's a really nice play to report from those guys. Well. That was a beautifully placed ball to be finished off. And the confidence they have to let that ball, that ball go. Absolutely. So that change for stars, we've got Katie Paul in, back into goal attack, and Lauren Wilkinson has come on in goal shooter. Oh, fighting for the ball. 
great finish there by Antonia. Hannah Howes, I've just spotted. She's um, got a defence. She's also in the Super League team, I believe. She is indeed. Oh, unlucky footwork call there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, bit of miscommunication there. Passing the ball to an empty space. But great defensive pressure from Freya, though. Love to see defensive attacker. Makes my day. I have to say, I'm much more impressed with this performance from um, London Pulse than I have been over recent weeks. They really look like they're playing more free travel out on court. There's way mm. more communication. And actually, sometimes it's nice to be able to leave a seven on and just let them grow throughout the game. Yeah. And it has been particularly challenging for all teams, particularly challenging this year, where we've been limited on the um, friendlies that they can play. They obviously, to participate in this league, they've not been able to play um, for their clubs, so they've not been able to do like regional or prem games or anything yeah. like that. Or well, prem hasn't been on, but their club fixtures, they can't play, they've not been able to play. Yeah, there's been a lot of sacrifices isn't there to get us to this point. But. Completely. So actually sometimes when you can allow these, these guys to just stay on court and figure it out, it's to the benefit of the team. Yeah. Oh, I'm lucky there. That was a beautiful movement by Courtney to get to the top of the circle, but unfortunately just sprayed over the back line. Less than two minutes to go in this quarter now, and the score is 17 to 29. So Pulse really taking it away in this quarter. They just also need to see it out there. Go on, Jada. Oh, there oh. she is. Lovely read there by Jada. I think what I'd like her to do as well is to take it cleanly for two hands first time. But it's great that she's getting her hand to so much ball. Yeah, she's she was, really grown into the game, Jada, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. She played um, her first, this is her first season in MPL as well. And she's another athlete that is also in the under-21 mix. And um, when we don't have the sort of superstars that also the NSL players, mm. she's been pulled up to play in um, the under-21s. And she's only 16, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only 16 and years old. And her first game, outrageous. we had a, the England Network organised like a friendly first game, so it was a sort of South team against the North. Mm. And we played against Thunder. And her first ever, first ever game, she got proud of the match. Oh, wow. Great stuff. It was, she was brilliant. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. That is the end of the third quarter. Pulse are now still 10 goals ahead, 27 to 17. Uh, 29 to 17, sorry. 30 17. Oh, 30 try again. Third time lucky. It's 30 to 17. Uh, Pulse have got a nice handy little lead here. Do you think they'll probably be comfortable? Uh, I mean, what's, what's that? That's 13 goals, right? 13, yeah. 13 goals. So I would look at that score and be like, well, Stars haven't scored 13 goals in any quarter. So it would be incredibly unlikely that they would come back from that. However, you never know. It's all you never know. And the other, the other thing to say as well is that like points matter. So where um, Pol London Pulse have dropped a few points by drawing a game, yeah actually points matter mm -hmm. and um, you it's just the scoring is the same as Prem. So if you get within five, you get an additional point. So they will definitely want to limit Stars' points. Yeah, so they don't they, they want to make sure they extend yeah. that lead. And, and the goal difference also will help. But, but more so, you definitely don't want them getting another point out of this game. Mm -hmm. So they get one point if they get over 50% uh, and they get two points if they get within five. Right, right. So let's not give them the extra point. Ooh. And, nice and as I was saying, you know, it'd be interesting because actually they, they could make changes. You know, you, I, I think actually you could probably put on the bench if you if you wanted to. Um, and I think we would still win the game. Mm. But also I think it's important to to allow these guys actually just to, I, I think you just play it out, let mm. them play it out. You know, the, the guys that are on the bench are also really young. They're here for next season. And sometimes, you know, their learning will come from watching this game. Um so if I was coaching, I'd, I'd quite like to see them leave it as it is and, yeah. and play out the game. I don't know, I don't know what will happen, but that's what I would like to see happen. Yeah, I mean, looking at the pulse bench, you have got head coach Sharon Lewis Burke is looking very animated, very into it, giving her players lots of advice. You've yeah, got... and this is this is Sharon's first season coaching NPL as well. So you know, ah. um, 
last year she was one of our hub coaches um, and then this season Sharon had become part of the MPL coaching team mm -hmm. um, and Zoe Humphreys who was last season coach very joyfully got pregnant um, oh, congratulations and, yeah and has now had the baby oh the, the, the most cutest thing you've ever did see um so you know Zoe wasn't able to continue coaching this season and, and also the, the year it was it was a little uncertain as to where we were you know whether or not it was safe for her to be coming out and doing yeah. you know yeah. coming into that environment so Sharon then stepped up into the head coach role um, she's had previous experience working with, uh, you know, Nets and, and mm -hmm. done some international stuff with those guys. But this is her first season coaching MPL. Yeah, I think she also coaches for Crystal Palace, am I right? She does. She Well, Aces, but yeah. Aces, that's it. Yeah, she is. Um, I mean, they're linked to Crystal Palace. Oh, I feel nervous. <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> no changes for Pulse again for this fourth quarter. So this seven really sticking it out and working it through the game. Yeah, and as I said, I think that's probably the right the right decision. You want to reward those guys on court and, and where we've not been able to have much of the sort of gameplay, you want to allow them that time to grow and allow those connections to build. You know, as you've said, this is um, Tone's second time in this team, mm. Jade's second time in this team. So you want to allow them to build those partnerships with those, those players around them too. The team's just huddling up now. And Hallie Robinson's back in centre for Stars. So they're shuffling around this midcourt trying to make something stick. <laughs> Lovely quick ball movement there from Stars and the finish. Great start to the quarter for them. Reset for Pulse, back to the keeper. Much the better discipline from um, Pulse as well, even to play it back to Jada. Yeah. Lovely finish. It was a beauty. Good pressure on the centre pass from Pulse, force, forcing Stars to go backwards. Oh, Jada again. They're the ones actually I think she can take her hand, full hand to. So she just two hands. Two hands or even just to scoop it in, you know. So at the moment she's just getting a sort of flat hand to it. Oh, wonderful work there, confusing the space. And a Pulse sideline. <laughs> Nice rotation from the attacking midcourt with there. Sorry, what was that then? Um, so it was as Ev was clearing out the space, Courtney came in and it just like it just a rotation of players was quite nice. Yeah, you see Brian Eakle talking about one coming forward and the other going backward, that like magnet movement. Yeah, 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 exactly like that. I mean, and you'll see that all the way throughout the court. You see it on and off the circle edge, you see it coming here. Um, yeah. <laughs> <Distracted watching> the <laughs> but this is actually our centre pass. This is a little bit frustrating, you know, is it, um, no, because actually the, the turnover that we've just scored off and won is neg negated. Exactly. You know, you want those incremental, like, and also for now, you want these guys to not drop a quarter. Yeah, you want to see them keep pushing on, even though they have a healthy lead. Completely. Is it, yes. Oh, beautiful read there from Jada. That was lovely. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, what that no. Was. And they've thrown it away. Oh, no. And <laughs> we've thrown it away. Oh. She'd had a bit of backup there. They'd have got that one, like you were saying earlier. Yeah, it's just sometimes you know when someone's with the ball and like the, the movement is all away from the ball. Is what you want to do is almost take on, and that's when you you'd maybe call the switch, or you'd have Jada be on the front. I mean, but what what you want is someone moving into that forward option, and whether mm. like what we talk about is a movement being valid, and sometimes that will get rewarded with ball, and sometimes that will just shift the space. 
So even on that centre pass there, you see Courtney's made a really positive movement out, but it's shifted to the defence and enabled Freya to come through and take that space. But that wouldn't have happened without the movement from Courtney in the first place. And you, and that's the same, you know, anywhere throughout court, you just want like positive, definite movement. Yeah, conviction in your movement. Absolutely. I have to say, I've been impressed with this goal attack. I think she's decent. That's I've Katie Pauling, the captain, <laughs> having a very strong performance. <laughs> that was a hoik and hope. It might be. It might be. I was like, oh, for Jesus. Hey, if it comes off, it comes off. <laughs> and sometimes that's like, you know, rat is um, <laughs> kind of, I guess, one of her signature moves is like long feeds into the circle and it's it's knowing when in the game is it's sort of fine to do that exactly with this comfortable lead now they're on 12 goal advantage it's that sort of time to be letting that sort of ball go and really enjoying it and playing with freedom yeah you'd also like there to be another option so that's the decision she's made rather than that's the only thing that she's got on <laughs> nice little swing of the ball there across the other edge of the circle and lauren wilkinson sinks it Courtney Ferns with all the space in the world there. Oh, so both pole shooters getting caught in the same mm -hmm. space there. And a beautiful little tip there from Emily Brooks. Long range shot from Freya. Oh, no problemo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see their guys' stats after. I have to say, I think I've been, I've been really impressed with them. So far in time shooting. And here's actually when you get Jada's just a little bit caught on the back. Yeah. Oh, and it's attacking contact. Oh, oh no one That's coming forward yeah. to the ball there at all. I mean, you've seen it, Lucy, haven't yeah. you? This is, <laughs> this is what we sometimes see on the bench, and we're like, for God's sake. <laughs> you know, they've, done, they've worked so hard to, to win ball or get ball, and then all they want, here we go again. So you just want someone to give you an easy out. Just come yeah. on, just someone help me out here. What a rebound there from Jada. That was brilliant. <laughs> Much nicer with a two-handed take as well. And the difference of, you know, Cassie and, and great like the difference nice between Cassie and Harriet really helping this ball through call, allowing our attackers to stay up and actually get towards the circle to feed, I think has been the biggest shift in this game. Mm. So we're stretching this lead out even further. It's now 36 to 22, 14 goal lead. Great feed in there. Oh, just can't finish it off. But it comes away with the ball. Third time, lucky. There we go. Okay, stars centre pass. It's a little bit of a shame we couldn't do this last week, is how I feel. <laughs> but as you guys said earlier, actually, the guys still haven't dropped a game. Mm, yeah, exactly. Oh, the ball coming over to us. Sorry, guys, not playing today. So now for these to, it kind of depends on what happens with the rest of the league in terms of how Bath do in, in their future games. Yeah. As to whether or not these guys will um, make that gold medal match. And you always want, you know, your destiny to be in your own hands rather than having to see what happens elsewhere. Yeah. So Bath will even need to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Bath will need to either lose a game or we need to make sure that we've got a better goal difference once they have. Mm. Beautiful shot there by Freya. So your, your next game for Pulse is against Storm on the 18th of June, am I right? That is, you are right. It's a Friday night fixture. How are you feeling about that one? Um, for the 19s, they, they should go into that game feeling fairly confident. You know, Storm have played a few games and have, have not done amazing in those fixtures. So, mm. you know, they would definitely go into that looking at the favourites. I think the, the challenge will actually be for the 
under 21s in that fixture. Storm, Storm are looking good in their under 21s. So right, okay. That would be an interesting matchup. Um, last game of the, the round for, for both teams as well. Great stuff. Great oh, beautiful pressure on the centre pass. And they come away with the spoils. And again, someone Just under off. four minutes left to go in this quarter. And it's 39-22 to Pulse. So really zipping away with it in the second half. It's a much better connected performance from, from me, guys. Oh. Oh, I've spoken to soon. I've oh, never had that before. <laughs> it's been so great how they don't throw the ball away. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I mean, we can laugh about it now because we're winning. If we weren't winning, I'd be fuming. So, Danny, who would you call as your player of the match as we near the end of the fourth quarter? Ah, oh, it's a tough one. I think, you know, this has been a, a seven girl effort mm. um yeah full court performance. i've been much more impressed with with the mid court, the mid -court today um and the defense bringing the ball up i think cassie's had another like storming game i have to say freya though i think i think she's yeah I think she's, she's, she really she's grew into the game didn't she yeah she's made like heaps of movement outside she's really opened up the space in the circle she's come through on a lot of the set passes Oh, that was a brilliant little tip there by goal attack for Stars, Katie Pauling. I think from Stars, she would probably be, oh, oh my goodness, that was outrageous. One-handed behind the back, <laughs> held against the hip. That should be illegal. That was too good. <laughs> Player of the match for that yeah. alone, I reckon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, has to definitely be in with the shot. Sure. Yeah, she's been a solid performer. She today, has, and I think actually the attacking work she's done as well. You, with Cassie, you'd normally expect to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, with Cassie, God. you'd normally expect her to win ball like that. She, she's very, very good defensively, and she's played across both wing defence and centre. But I think she's much more comfortable in wing defence. Yeah, and um, she's actually a dual code, dual code athlete as well. She played full contact rugby um, at club and county level, I believe. So she did. She's multi talented. Also, she's also an ex basketball. She's she's the highly academic as well as Kathy. Wow, she's got it all. She really is a girl. She's got it all. <laughs> so is she our player of the match, do you reckon? Yeah, we'll give it to Cass. Yeah. yeah. And I think for stars, I think their goal attack, uh, Katie Paulin has had a really solid day. Yeah. Again, some defensive tips as well, which you just love to see. I think Jada just heard you say that we're not giving her player of the match and coming up with that amazing <laughs> intercept. She's had a standout game. I think I think she's mine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, beautiful shot there. Pulse now 40 up to stars 24 and with the center pass as well. Not long left to go in this game. And this is where you really want them to like see it out though. Definitely. And really just punish to take into account that goal difference could be really crucial at the end of the season, particularly as they've only got four games to get those all important goals. Yeah, for sure. Lovely Much better from Jada. Two handed take Fan of that. Good patience from Pulse and the release. That was a beautiful pass. Nice. Great, confident finish. Nice. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. What a finish to that game. The score is 43-24 to London Pulse and they take the win. Yay. <laughs> you must be delighted, Danny. How are you feeling? Oh, a little bit calmer than I was about 24 minutes ago. Um, no, really, really happy for the girls. Really happy for the for the staff as well. Um, 
you know, it was just a much better connected performance than, than what we've seen in the last few weeks. And I think, you know, the more time that these guys can be together on top court, the better that they will be. And they are still, you know, developing athletes. They're still learning. So every game that they're getting that little bit better, so I'm really pleased with how they can push on through that game. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us in comms today, Danny. Our first ever outing in comms. And it's been a pleasure to have you with us. It's been a pleasure to be here. <laughs> and thank you, everyone who has tuned in. Um, we are going to have the under-21s game this afternoon as well uh, at one o'clock. So um, make sure you follow us on socials at Quarter Time Pod, where you can find the link to access today's games. Uh, again, thanks, Danny. And uh, see you all soon.